It has been a hot couple of months for the broader biotech area, and our next guest says there's still more room to run. Let's go off the charts with Todd Gordon of TradingAnalysis.com. Todd? Hey, Tyler. Uh, yeah, let's take a look at biotech. And we were looking at two different ETFs to, to make the case. We're looking at the IBB and the, X, and the XBI. One point that I would make is the, is the XBI is a equal weighted. It consists of lots of different biotechs where the IBB is cap weighted. And the point there is if you take a look at the lower part of the chart here, we're looking at XBI relative to IBB. What you see here is a little bit of underperformance, meaning what's happening is XBI right now right now is underperforming IBB. So you are actually seeing a little bit of kind of large cap biotech outperforming, much like we're seeing in the broader market. So just kind of keep that in mind. Um, it is underperforming the broader S&P. We have not made a new high. Um, that XBI is still caught below the 100 mark. So we need to see the index move above there for biotech truly to be back. Two names that we're looking at, Exact Sciences is number one, and there's some pretty exact technicals in here, which I think are amazing here. So if you look at three main pullbacks here over the last two years, watch this, 42%, 41%, 39%. And they say the markets are just driven by fundamentals. There's a lot of technical rhythms and patterns in here. So we're seeing three equal leg, pull, equal leg pullbacks. We dip below the 200 day. If you zoom in here, um, there's a little bit of a inverse head and shoulders. Again, if we can launch up through there, history would show this is a viable pullback. This was a high flying stock last year. I like it. I'm going to look to add exact sciences through 100. Um, the other one is uh, a little bit less of an urgent play, which is Regeneron. Um, longer term here, we could see sort of a nice classic three trend wave pattern. There's one consolidation, big breakout. We've seen a lot of consolidation in Regeneron. The market models that we follow, Dow and Elliott would suggest there is another move to go. This is the weekly. If you get down to the daily chart, you got to wait for this one to break. Um, again, if you just draw your trend line here, you're certainly We'll find buy stops above the $400 region. So if you've been looking for biotech in Regeneron, oops, that's supposed to be a dollar sign, but you get the point through 400. That would be the point, I think, to add uh, Regeneron. All right, Todd, thank you very much. Uh, Savita, without going into particular stocks, yep. uh, what, what, what is your overall thinking about either biotech or the healthcare area in particular? Healthcare is big and broad. Yep. Biotech, just one part of it. Yeah, I mean, look. If you're if you're going to buy and hold for the next decade, there is nothing wrong with healthcare and there is nothing wrong with biotech. I mean, we're moving into this brave new world where there're going to be more grandparents than grandkids for the first time in human history. I mean, people are old today. Like the 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 Don't the, rub the, it in, no, no, <laughs> the percentage of of the uh, the retiree population, not you. Yeah. I'm talking about retirees here. <laughs> um, but retirees The rest are, of the old people, not you. <laughs> <laughs> Retirees are basically outnumbering toddlers. This yeah. is the first time that we've ever seen this happen. So healthcare is a play for the long term. I just worry about two things in the near term. First, the election, mm -hmm. because there's still a lot of negative headline risk around healthcare overall. And you know, if you look back to 2016, you didn't want to buy healthcare until the day of the election. It was mm -hmm. no generalist wanted to step in front of those negative headlines. And then the second risk is that there's been a lot of new supply. So the IPO activity for healthcare has been aggressive. Healthcare is the only sector where the number of IPOs outpaces the percentage of share count reduction. So the supply demand story for healthcare doesn't look as good as it does for other sectors where they're actually taking out meaning. Interesting. And, and, and if you are to invest in this, exactly. I, I know I can't pick the individual winners. I have to buy the IBB. And if you look at Biogen, they have an Alzheimer's drug. You look at Vertex, they have a cystic They're fibrosis drug. Different. Buy the IBB if you're going to dabble in this space. All Much right. safer.